The project is located on the Rakotsi Street, between Astoria and Blaha. It is one of the most important avenues of Budapest, with a lot of traffic because it is the main path to cross the city. The leading goal of this project is facing the climate change and searching for sustainability, assuming the fact that global warming will affect big metropolis in a nearby future. This project performs in different aspects or problems and they evolve into a solution through several stages. It all starts by architectural and urbanism ideas and finishes by global solutions. An analysis of the two blocks have been made in order to identify the opportunities. First of all, the record district here is wider thanks to the alignment of the buildings. It is an opportunity to develop better public spaces. The yellow parts are the spaces where there is potential to use, voids into the blocks to fill, and the long and low building which can be extended. In red are the elements considered important to preserve regarding historical and aesthetic values. The Iranian National Film Theaters, the Sichuan Eastern Trade High School, the Cinema University, and the Tower of the West Corner. On the street level are located restaurants and stores, and on the Sentikilai Utsa is the Cherry Apartment Hotel. Knowing that those activities are already existing, it was not necessary to duplicate them into the new spaces of the project. Let's begin the presentation with the new Rakotsi Street. First of all, it is designed to promote the use of green public transport as strongways and the usage of bicycle by creating safe cycling path. The goal is to reduce the amount of individual vehicles in order to reduce congestion, noise pollution and particles emissions. More than that, reducing the amount of heavy vehicles circulating in the street is to improve the safety of pedestrians and give them a back a more important place in the street. That's why a public square in front of the Rakoxi farm and new urban furniture have been installed to permit a good urban life. The street space of this area consists of two big sidewalks in front of the two blocks assigned. The road, where two traffic lanes have been eliminated to incorporate the tram line and bike lanes, and one important space next to the chapel of San Roch. As said before, the significance of an urban plaza, together with the presence of buildings with identity, is crucial for the development of a subcenter, a spot with strong importance within the metropolis and which generates employment and resources. Following this reasoning, and in urbanism terms, an association has been made between the Urania building and the left old residential building providing them with new functions and setting up a new important focus around. The Urania sidewalk space would be dedicated to reunion, living space and junction, where people just visit the stores, get to work or live, they reunite to go to the theater or young people sit in on the grass. And the other space as bike and car stop and green chilling areas complementing the main Urania space. Tram line would reach this new subcenter, including a stop in front of the film seat. To isolate traffic noises, a vegetal barrier is put forward along the boundaries of the public space, next to the road, creating a more quiet atmosphere for the pedestrian. In addition, street ground would be turned into a filtration pavement to improve urban sustainable drainage. Now, let's talk about the new elements taking place in the blocks. This building has been built above an older residential one. Its facade is more than a century old and that's why it was important to give this historical value. This idea has been applied to all the blocks, so keeping intact the facade of the Urania Cinema and the Tower of the West Corner was important as well to maintain the identity of the district. However, in order to adapt the building for its new public usage, the street level of the facade has been redesigned. Besides the agricultural school, the Rakotzi farm hosts other important functions as a cooking school and do-it-yourself workshops to teach people how to prepare healthy meals with fresh ingredients. In the top floor of the west wing of the building, under the large pergola, is located the market. The inhabitants of the neighborhood and all of, of all Budapest can buy here fresh and local ingredients. These activities are also opportunities to create new kinds of jobs and reduce unemployment. All the fresh ingredients used and sold in this building are cultivated in the block beside. Taking advantage of the empty space on this block, a huge greenhouse has been built. In this urban farm, tons of fresh vegetables and fresh fruits are planted to be cultivated. 
This greenhouse is open to visitors in order to show people how it is possible to grow food in a sustainable and local way. Indeed, the urban farm is using different agricultural techniques respecting the environment. The first to them is the aquaponic system. It is a virtual system involving fish, microbes, and plants. Ammonia rich fish waste provides food for the bacteria cultured in the fish tank and the grow bed plants. These bacteria break down the ammonia into nitrate and nitrates, which is feeding and fertilizing the plant. The plant roots are filtering the water of the system which is supplied in oxygen through an air pump. The other system is more conventional. The cinema flat roof and the flat roof next to the greenhouse are put in place as thick layer of substrate in order to cultivate plants in a traditional way. Where there is no possibility of having this thick layer of earth, plant box are used instead, as in the roof of the Rakuji form. In order to have a direct link between those two buildings, a bridge has been built. It is made of fiber concrete segments and is inspired by the Museum Bridge in Marseille drawn by Richard. More than being just a convenient link between the buildings, it is also a newer important landmark of the neighborhood. One of the goals of the project is to reduce the urban spread of Budapest by densifying the city and creating new flats. The existing roof of the residential building are transformed in order to house a new floor or the apartments. The design of this new story keeps the traditional roof slope on the street side to maintain the historical identity of what the street. The other side is a green roof accessible for all the residents of the building. It is provided with flower box in order to give to the people the possibility to cultivate their own food. The green roofs have a second goal, reduce the urban heat island effects of the urbanization by reducing the surface of heat absorbing materials. All the new flats have an east-west orientation in order to maximize the amount of natural light during the day and to provide natural ventilation in order to avoid overheating. On this section is the shape of the current roof state, a traditional one with two slopes and a wooden framework. The project section proposes a contemporary design with an apartment using a new space under the green roof on the courtyard side and a space under the slope on the street side. The structure is made out of brick for the load bearing wall which lie on the existing ones of the building, and the new framework is made with wood. On the plan is shown the roof and a flat example next to the vertical circulation. The last goal of this project is to encourage the production of sustainable energy. Solar panels are installed on the roofs protecting the vertical access of the residential building and on the back law of the Rakuti farm. The energy produced by this panel will be used in the new building. Besides that, rainwater harvesting systems have been installed on the roofs of the two blocks. Firstly, the water collected will be stored into outside basins at the center of the courtyard in order to cool down the air. And in the second time, this water will be used to water the plants and supply the urban farm system. Finally, the structures of the greenhouse and the Rakoxy farm are made out of industrial steel profile and glass. It allows the building to be light and to let the light pass through them. It was especially important in the greenhouse case, in order to give the plants as much light as possible but also to avoid blocking light going to the existing apartments next to it. Using industrial steel profiles also allow to reemploy materials coming from abandoned buildings. All the steel profiles used in this project are coming from all buildings around Budapest. This solution is interesting regarding sustainability because it saves energy and ore. In conclusion, this project has been designed to gather different solutions and ways to reduce the global warming. It acts as a kind of urban laboratory to explore these solutions, adapt them and improve them. The goal is to teach new generations the problem that megacities and urban spreading will cause and to raise them awareness of the global warming issues. Finally, the idea would be to develop this system through all Budapest in order to make the city an ecological and social responsible capital.